Hey everyone, Jeremy Church from Church's Family Farm. I'm going to be replacing the rear shock absorber with the air ride suspension style um, in this 2013 Chevy Tahoe. I did the driver's side, it's a lot more difficult on the driver's side, but the passenger side looks like you should be able to get right in there and do it without actually having to take the wheel off. And you only need a couple of things, pry bar, 21 millimeter wrench, and 21 millimeter socket, and some extensions. Okay, I'm gonna get into that. I'll show you what's being done. Yeah. All right, so on it, you can see, you can see, that about had it, well it has had it. And then you got this bolt, you follow it straight up, you got that bolt. You gotta take those two off and disconnect this wire and disconnect this vacuum hose. Or not vacuum hose, the pump, air pump hose. It just puts air in it. So, and that's a sensor, so, all right. I'm gonna swap this out. I'll just keep you on record. And I'll fast forward it. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna take the tire off. Give me a second. Give me a second, I'll do that. I'm gonna get this job done a lot faster. Alright, got the tire off. Now I gotta take this bolt out. You gotta get to it from that, the back side, back here. It's best to go in with your wrench like this. You go in from this side. You gotta go underneath a bunch of crap. And then you gotta put a wrench on this side. Let's see. Right, you lefty loosey. Good. Good. I need two hands. or basically anything you can use son of a to grab it they're supposed to be metal not plastic that one was plastic and then that just pops off and then this one you just lift up on the clip and pull it off Now you gotta, all right, now you gotta jack this up, get the 
pressure off the bolt so you can get it out. too much. All right. Once you get the bottom free, you can just uh, position the top as you push the bolt out reach in there and grab it and then you just pull it out and then you gotta go up through that and you can see how badly that was just shot <clears throat> Come get your new one. Come looking all pretty. Take off the stuff that's keeping it safe from damage. And then you gotta remove that little plastic thing. So that's keeping it clean. All right. You come put it back on. I like to do the top or the bottom first. Because the top's a little higher on this one. up got the top bolt in now you gotta put the bottom in and this is where the pry bar comes in handy but I don't feel like getting it lower this down all right let's readjust that all right then you just take this off goes here you get your clip put the clip back on it this goes here and just plugs into it come on find a new clip but put these on tighten these all back up get the wrenches on them
All right. So that's it. All I gotta do is just tighten it all back up now and find a new clip for the one that broke. But this is CFF. Thanks for watching. May God bless you and your family. And we'll see you next time. Take care.